Well, this is the 10th meeting of PMF's Mediterranean Strategy Group. And when we started this uh, exercise about five years ago, the idea was to take different themes to have Europeans, Americans, Southern Europeans, Southern Mediterraneans come together to talk about different issues that are topical in Mediterranean affairs. And we've treated finance and security, maritime affairs, energy. We always did it with a transatlantic frame. But the one thing we never actually did was to talk about the United States and the Mediterranean directly. So our topic this time is exactly that, the United States and the Mediterranean, what we've been doing, what we're doing, what we should be doing in the future. What we see is a range of threats spanning the Mediterranean. In the Eastern Med, you certainly have the threat of ISIL foreign fighters returning uh, into Europe. We have instability, energy competition in that region, and uh, uh, you know a great concern of extremist uh, organizations that could that could threaten both our allies and partners in that region, create instability in governments, and we see action by the coalition of nations against ISIL in Syria. Um, as we come further across uh, to North Africa, uh, we see, uh, uh, again, uh, violent extremist organizations causing instability in governments. We see uh, migration issues coming into Europe uh, that are uh, in significant numbers, illicit trafficking, disease, and the, the threats there, and, and generally an unstable environment that, as you look at the outcome of the Wales Summit, the, the, the leaders of the nations recognize that we have both an eastern threat due to Russian aggression as well as a southern threat that are more long-term, perhaps more chronic in nature of uh, failed states and uh, instability that could threaten the peace and stability in Europe. As a U.S. commander, we have very focused presence here in the Mediterranean. In fact, the Navy uh, is probably the only service that's going to grow in Europe in the next few years. And you see us bringing high-end capability and more of it into the theater. We're putting four uh, advanced Aegis destroyers in the road of Spain, and they're fundamentally to provide ballistic missile defense of Europe. We will open up this year in 2015 uh, the Aegis defense site at Devaselu in Romania. So <clears throat> I think you'll see an opportunity for those permanently stationed ships, those four, will operate on a near continuous basis. So that will be more than we've had in the past. As I think of my junior officer days in the Mediterranean, we would routinely have carrier battle groups, amphibious groups. Today we will see transit presence. They will come through episodically as needed for a crisis. Uh, but I think the, the ships based in Rota uh, will be the backbone of our effort here as well as those new missile sites we're opening.